hello guys welcome to another productive video but this is the day that the lord have made again oh yes this is the day that the lord have made again and you know the word come at void but it comes to accomplish its mission in the life of the children of god so the word is also a light onto our path so why can we take the light off okay so i'm here with the man of god to enlighten us on the word papa you are welcome thank you papa you know in this life people things are working out for them people nothing is working out in their life and there's people on the street that have no place to stay example like they are home beggars roaming on the street with no aim with no purpose of life please can you enlighten us on the cause of that thank you very much okay sir you see one thing that i've noticed on this earth is no matter who you are or who you see you are greeted by god okay. and first of most god did not create anyone on this earth to suffer for the bible says even if a bed falls down the master find pity for that bed how much more am i so god is not pleased to see his children roaming about or wandering around the world but one thing that i know on this earth is that no matter who you are you have to give your life to christ and christ will make you better the bible says it is the blessings of the lord that make the man worthy hard labor is not added to it you may try using your strength your wisdom or whatever you can do but it will never yield or bear fruit but if you click to God, if you click to Christ, if you commit, submit to Christ, obey and follow the principles of Christ Jesus, you are done. Sure. That is all. So the reason why we see some homeless beggars and all that, the fact that someone is going to church does not make that person a Christian. You can be going to church, yet you suffer. Are you getting my point? Yes, sir. He carry all our suffering with him to the cross he went down to the grave he arose again he said father it is finished and if us he said it is finished it is truly finished why they suffering again you see he picked some from the muddy clay and set them upon the rock to stay picked some from the street bring them to his home the matter is commit your ways to the lord you see the bible says something According to the book of 2 Timothy 2 20, he said, In a large house, in a large house, there are many utensils, there are many items, and each item is made of something. We have plastic, we have metal, we have wood. Now, let's move to the kitchen where food is prepared. We have things made of metal, we have things made of wood, we have things made of glass, we have many things in the kitchen and each of them has its own purpose or its own use so you have to submit so that Christ can use you to what you are made of then you become useful you will not be rejected are you getting my point? Yes, sir. good, now let me make some illustration the bible said now let's look at the book of 2 Timothy 2.20 sure 2 Timothy 2.20 The Bible says, in a, in a worldly home, okay. some utensils are made of gold okay. and silver, yeah. and some are made of wood and clay. The expensive, the expensive utensils are used for special occasions. If you keep yourself pure, you will be special utensil for honorable use. Your life will be clean and you will be ready for the master you you will be ready for the master to use you for every good work you'll be ready for for the master for every good work you see so he first made he said in a worldly home yeah which home is that the worldly home the rich house the rich house yeah. is being in christ sure if you come to christ everything is there no matter who you are christ will position you now let, let, let's look at this we have this knife here okay 
We have this machete. Okay. We have this blade. This blade. Yes, sir. Razor. Yes, sir. This one has a cutting edge. Yes, sir. This one also has a cutting edge. Yes, sir. This one is also having a cutting edge. This one is what? A spoon. Yes, sir. This, this spoon yes, sir. Can, can go into what is cool or what is hot, hot to fetch something for mass consumption. It is useful. After this has finished its work, this one is also having its work. So all these materials are in one home. It, comparing to man's life, okay. we may not be equal. This one is very large okay. or long. This one is not that long. No. This one is small. This one is also another size. Yeah. The sizes are not the same. Yeah. So for, for you to be useful, that you may not be a homeless beggar, Know who you are and keep yourself pure, as the Bible says. And the master will use you and you become useful. So let me say this this knife is, is used in chopping of onion, okra, garden eggs, and all that, cabbage, and all that. This cannot be used to cut a tree or a bigger or, or, or a hardwood, but this one can do some. Are you getting my point? Sure. So, if you know who you are, then you do, you present yourself as you have been made on this earth. Don't try using this to cut wood. Because it will break. Okay. The edge, the cutting edge will, will go blind. Sure. Are you getting my point? Yes, sir. So, you see, some are just roaming around on this earth because they have not been able to recognize the particular person they are or who God has made them of. With their purpose. As I'm sitting here now, I don't know anything about politics, so I'm not going there. Yeah. I'm a gospel preacher, okay. so I have to be in my line. Sure. Preach the gospel. Sure. So if you talk about anything, if you talk about, if you say anything about politics, I may not be perfect, and I'm not, I'm not even trying. It is not my dream, and I will never go. Even if I'm taking there, I'll come back. Yeah. Because I don't have anything there. Sure. So let me be in my line and function. So this knife is used only when the, it, there is food. This one is also used for weeding and cutting of bigger or harder wood. This blade, this blade has also strength, another strength. So this blade is, is, be, is to be used according to the strength and the purpose of it. You cannot use this in, in chopping meat okay. in the kitchen. Yes, sir. It is not advisable. Mm. Yes, sir. So others are trying to do what is higher than them. Mm. Okay. And they are failing it. They are failing the assignment. You cannot use this to fetch soup. This is used in taking tea okay. or taking of porridge. Okay. Or sometimes in a local home medicine. Yeah. Are you getting my point? Yes, sir. Good. So, this spoon needs to be functioning according to how it has been made. If you are using this to fetch soup, how many times? Are you getting my point? Yes, so, you have to know who God has made you. You see, so he said, in a large house. So, when we come into Christ, when we come into Christ or we come into Christianity, God has made each and every one for a particular purpose. purpose. That's why when we come into ministry, we have apostle, teacher, prophet, evangelist and all. you have to function according to your line if i'm not a prophet i don't have anything about prophecy i admire them but i can't speak against them i can't judge them i have to be in my line i get my point yes sir. good so now the reason why others have not seen the face of life on this earth sometimes we blame god why has god made me like this others are rich others are poor why why am, am i not the son of the president why am i not the, the son of the rich man God can do it. But you have to know that where God has placed you, He has placed you for you to come out with something good. But you are not able to recognize it. So the, the scripture made it. He said, if you keep yourself pure, then you'll be useful by the master. Because he says some utensils are for common use, some are for special occasions. Yes, sir. Are you getting my point? Yes, not that you are not important. You are important. You are important. 
You are so significant. You are a tool in the hands of the Lord. Sure. You are so good. You are so precious to Him. Sure. Are you getting my point? Yes, so you have to be used. You have to prepare yourself yes, to be used according to what you have been made of. Yes, sir. Are, are you getting my point? Yes, so the reason why some are blaming God. You made me poor. Why am I not the son of this rich man or this rich woman? The first lady or this, 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 this. this. Uh, it will not take anything from God for you to, for him to make you like that. Yes, sir. But can you function? Yeah. I, I will get to my point. Yes, sir. Some, we, we are struggling to reach the level where we have not been trained to be there. Okay. I will get to my point. Yes, Good. Because before, a man, before someone can be a policeman or a military man, you have, be, you have to be trained up. If you are not trained, how can you be there? You need to enlarge yourself. Sure. So before this knife can do the work of this uh, machete, or this catalyst, unless the size has been has been increased yes. and the strength, this one is been burning. Yes. This one you can't burn it. Okay. You see, yes, so each and every one, God has brought us here not to suffer. Yes, sir. So we have to recognize what God has made of, okay. then function according to how He has made us, and then that's all. Okay. And we see the blessings of God. Okay. Are you getting my point? Yes, sir. Good. That's how it is. Daddy, you see, people, people, people normally, people normally don't know their purpose on this earth. Yeah. And discover who they really are. So the question is, how can a man discover himself and the purpose of uh, of what God has destined? They come to, to the wealthy home. That is the Jesus. Okay. If you come to Jesus, you know who you are. Okay. Because let's read the scripture again. Second yeah. Timothy two twenty. Sure. In a worthy home. Oh. In a worthy home. That's what the Bible says. In a worthy home, there, there are some utensils. You see, in a worthy home, some utensils are made of gold okay. and silver, and some are made of wood and clay. So, if you are made of wood, you'll be used according to how you are made. If you are a goat, you'll be used according to how you have been made. Yeah, so, so for you to discover who you are and then function on this earth, for you to see the glory of God upon your life, the glory of God upon a man's life is the, is the stamp of God on you. That people may know that, no, truly, this man or this person is in Christ. Because, but the Bible says, after the departure of Elijah, some prophets saw Elisha. They said, truly, the spirit of Elijah is upon Elisha. Why? He served. He followed the man. He followed his master. To the day he's departing from him. So all that he has, he released. That is a mantle to him. So the reflection of the father begins to be seen on the son. So if you come to God, you will see the reflection because you cannot dip your, your hand into water and then have your hand still dry. You'll be wet. So if the house, that if Christ, there is in Christ there's wealth. When we, when we say wealth, is when the Bible says wealthy, don't 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 say I'm going to I'm going to Christ to have cars and all that thing. But you'll be free from this pressure of life. Okay. You'll be free from this pressure of life. You know your whereabouts, how to move. Even if you have a biscuit to eat, you are okay with it. You will not bother yourself with much. The later you have, you are you are okay. You'll be filled with it. You'll be full. You, you, you'll be content with what you have. Are you getting my point? Yes, sir. Because others have some and they are still chasing for more. No. They are not yet satisfied. Yeah. But as we are sitting here, the later we have, we are okay with it. Sure. Are you getting my point? Yes, so for you to see, for you to know your ways, have life free or pressure free. Are you getting my point? Yes, sir. Then come to the world you bear everything is okay so if you come to christ that's why we need to turn to god sure. if you turn to god sure. god will show you the way sure. i'm getting a much inside of this thank you we all heard what the man of god have said it's all about we discovering our purpose and and who we really are on this earth and how can we it's all in the video so please when you haven't subscribed to the channel subscribe to the channel that you get a productive video like this and press the notification button that anytime we upload a video you'll be the first person to watch i'll see you in the next video bye bye